March is National Women's History Month. Hi, I'm Connie Vanderman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. Women's History Month is an annual observance to highlight the contributions of women to events in history and contemporary society. It's celebrated during March in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Australia, corresponding with International Women's Day on March 8. This year's theme is centered on women who advocate for equity, diversity, and inclusion. During 2024, we recognize the example of women who are committed to embracing everyone and excluding no one in our common quest for freedom and opportunity. Women's History Month is celebrated as a way to honor the contributions women have made to society throughout history. It's a month focused on educating people about the important impact powerful women have made in both the past and the present. Though the list is long, some popular historical figures who are often studied and recognized in March are Susan B. Anthony, Harriet Tubman, Amelia Earhart, and Maya Angelou. At AdventistFaith.com, we have wonderful articles and resources to celebrate Women's History Month all month long. Be sure to check out our webpage as well as the other links in the description box. The March Recorder is in your homes and it's also available online in English and Spanish. The cover story, Your Daughters Shall Prophesy, is adapted from Raywin Orlich's new book, In Grandpa's Shoes, in which she shares how the example and encouragement of her grandfather, Eric Webster, influenced her life and calling. Also read Elder Brad Newton's inspiring editorial, The Language of Heaven, and part three in our series on the fundamental beliefs, written this month by Southern California Conference President, Belino Salazar. Links to the English and Spanish Recorder magazines are in the description of this video. March is also National Nutrition Month, and during this month, health and nutrition professionals share their knowledge and tips with patients, clients, family, friends, and the community to increase awareness about the importance of good nutrition. Nutrition.gov has resources that can help people of all ages make healthier food choices and live an active lifestyle. During this special month of focusing on nutrition, you may be interested in a remarkable article at Vogue.com about the Blue Zone of Loma Linda, California. The term Blue Zones was first coined by Dan Buettner, a National Geographic explorer and journalist, during an exploratory project he led in 2004. He traveled the world in search of communities where people not only lived longer, but also enjoyed a high quality of life in their old age. And after analyzing demographic data and interviewing numerous centenarians, he and his team identified five regions that stood out for their extraordinary longevity and vitality. Loma Linda, California is the only blue zone located in the United States. In her article, Behold, Lessons from America's First and Only Blue Zone, Margot and Buba list the key factors why residents of Loma Linda have a life expectancy 10 years longer than the average American. Find a purpose-driven community. A large portion of Loma Linda's population is made up of Seventh-day Adventists, she writes. The community is vegetarian, does not smoke or drink, practices a 24-hour Sabbath, and regularly exercises through long walks and hikes. The other factors included a diet filled with vegetables. Blue Zones looked deeply into the diet of Loma Linda's centenarians and found that it was roughly made up of 30% vegetables, 30% fruit, 10% beans and dairy, respectively, 7% whole grains, and the rest, nuts, added fats, and meat if they ate it. Less than 1% of their diet was made up of sugar. The best snack is nuts. Nuts are one of the most nutrient-dense plant-based foods, with pistachios, walnuts, and almonds in the lead. And it turns out a popular snack for Adventists. Focus on breakfast. In this community, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Adventist dining rituals start off with a large meal with progressively smaller portions throughout the day. You can check out her article as well as other resources for National Nutrition Month at the links below. Next week, Christians around the world will be celebrating Holy Week, followed by Easter on March 31st. Holy Week commemorates the final week in the ministry of Jesus Christ that includes the two pivotal moments in his life so significant to the Christian faith, his death, and resurrection. As Adventists, we understand this extraordinary moment in the context of the great controversy and the unfailing love and commitment God has made to the human race. The resurrection is God's answer to sin, disease, adversity, conflict, and all those things that break our hearts. 
We serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. He lives, Christ Jesus lives. Matthew 28, five to seven paints the picture. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, he has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Easter is the story of our greatest hopes and aspirations for the future, rooted in the life, ministry, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our prayer today is that all God's people may be blessed as we contemplate God's grace and unwavering love for our world during this special time. For all God's people, I'm Connie Jeffrey.